Hi everyone. So let me preface this by saying I'm not in any way a jewelry expert. I'm just showing you the bracelets that I own, the VCA bracelets, Van Cleef & Arpels. Um, so if you're considering any one of these four, you have a view of them all together. I decided to kind of show them in this way because that's how you're going to be wearing it, right? As a bracelet. Um, so that's how it looks on somebody's wrist naturally. Um, unfortunately, they do not stay in this nice little position all the time. They get tangled up with each other. So that's the first thing I would say is that you're looking, if you're looking at any of these thinner bracelets, and if you're looking at more than one, they are definitely going to get intertwined with each other. Um, even if they're in different sizes, which mine are, I'll lift my wrist a little. You can see that I like my bracelets quite long. Um, I like a lot of movement um, under my wrist, and so I don't like them tight. Um, I've bought them about two sizes too big, so you can clearly see that, that they move around a lot, but I'm keeping them stationary for the video. So from front to back, I have the Quatrefoil Carnelian, the Mother of Pearl White Heart, the Turquoise Butterfly, and this is the five motif um, rose gold Quatrefoils. So those are the ones I have. The only one that you can see is in a white gold is the turquoise. The two, um, actually the carnelian is in rose gold. The heart is in yellow gold. And then of course this one is in rose gold. So I just wanted to give you guys a view of them. Um, you can kind of get an idea of size wise. They're quite nice. Um, I think my favorite is actually the carnelian. I'll insert some photos so you can see, but I think overall that one seems to sparkle and shine the best, um, perhaps followed by the one that has all the gold going around. But I absolutely love these. I'm not really a jewelry person and I find them very dainty. Um, I'm considering, I'm not sure, but I'm considering parting with a few of them because now that I have the five going around, um, I don't really need the other three as much, maybe just keeping one of them. The one that I don't believe they make anymore is the Mother of Pearl Heart. They make the heart, but only, um, I believe, in the Carnelian. So that one's a little bit more difficult to find. Um, and all of mine came from resale. Um, I did not pay full retail for any of them, I'm happy to say. I got all of them on resale. Let me put them into the sun a little bit there, see if that makes any difference to how they appear. Um, definitely the Carnelian, I think, shines the best. And I also um, picked these ones because aside from the Mother of Pearl one, they can be worn daily. You don't have to worry about taking them off or exposing them to water on a regular basis, you know, like when you're hair washing or showering or that sort of thing. Um, Carnelian is safe in the water. Turquoise, relatively safe in the water. Rose gold, of course, all the way around, safe in the water. The only one that may be a problem is the Mother of Pearl, um, but seeing as how it's so small, it doesn't really bother me. Um, so they stay on 99.9% uh, .9 of the time. I don't take them off. Um, I just let them kind of interact with each other and do whatever they want. And I also wear a, um, a watch, so they sometimes get tangled up with my watch. Let me go ahead and show you a more natural kind of shake and position and what happens to them. That's more regularly what I'm looking at um, when I'm looking at my wrist is that they end up all over the place. Um, so that's kind of how they will end up and they will definitely tangle around underneath. Um, but that gives you kind of an idea of how they look. The chains on them are all identical, the links rather, except this one. The five motif going around is thicker and it's just bigger, bigger and thicker. The other three are all the same. There's no difference, just the colors. Um, but this one is definitely thicker and it's also heavier. I can definitely feel the weight of that one um, compared to the other three. The other three don't have any kind of weight to them. They're very, very lightweight. Um, you, there is a bit of weight to the five motif. I'm sorry, I keep saying five, it's six. It's six motifs going around, I'm sorry. The five is the bigger one. I keep saying five, but it's actually six. Um, but I hope it's helpful to kind of see them. Like I said, I'm not a jewelry person. I can't give you all of the, you know, amazing details, but just to kind of see them on somebody, see them how they look in the sun. Let me move my wrist over a little bit. A different view of them. I know when I'm researching things, I just look at every video I can possibly find and hear everybody's take on, on things. Um, I like all of them. Um, my favorite is probably the carnelian um, and the six motif one but I like them all. <laughs> I love all of them. And I just wear them every day. I don't worry about um, exposing them to any elements whatsoever, oils, lotions, that sort of thing. And I think they've all held up really well. Although I'm not sure how you can really tell um, 
when it comes to jewelry, unless you're a jeweler yourself, how do you know what kind of wear and tear you have on these stones, you know? It's hard to say. Um, let me just show you really quickly what I use to clean them. Uh, so if you're looking for a recommendation on what to use to clean your items, this is what I use. I found it on Amazon. I think it was like 12 to $15, something like that. I don't quite remember exactly. It's called Connoisseur's Gold Jewelry Polishing Cloth. Um, you cannot wash it. You have to just keep using it and using it and using it. Um, it has two layers, the outside purple layer, which is the polishing portion, and then you can see um, that you just have to keep using it. And this is the white inner portion that does a majority of the work for you. Let me kind of go there. Um, and this is what I use to polish them, but I don't do it often. Um, I don't think you're supposed to really do your jewelry all that often because you can actually strip some of the polish off, some of the color off. Um, but this is the one I use, the Connoisseur's Gold Jewelry Polishing Cloth, and it keeps them relatively clean. Um, I would say I polish them every couple of months, maybe every two to three months, uh, sometimes longer if I don't remember. Um, but there's another view of them as well. And that's how they naturally sit. And you can kind of see how they're intertwining with each other. They don't get tangled to the point that I can't um, untangle them, but it just doesn't look as pretty when they're all tangled up. Um, so just my recommendation that if you're looking for a few of these, two maybe is the maximum, um, unless you're comfortable with them being all, you know, jumbled and tangled from time to time and especially if you wear something else like a watch or anything like that and I'll try and insert some other photos as well. Anyway if you have any questions about any one of them please let me know. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.